Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss an important use case related to Power Automate. My name is Sanjay Prakash and I am a Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you need any training, let me know. So let's focus on the topic, right? So today we will discuss how we can initiate a Power Automate flow on demand on selected records from Dataverse. Previously, there was an option that you can trigger Microsoft Power Automate flow on a selected records using only default environment. But right now, Microsoft introduced another, another trigger by which we can just select multiple records or one record and pass some input parameters from this selection records and the Power Automate can handle it. The point here is, if there is a business requirement that needs to run a Power Automate flow on a selected record. Also, in addition to the selected record information, you need to pass some custom information as a parameter to your Power Automate flow so that the Power Automate will process that custom parameters including the selected record information. You need this use case. Now, let us start with it. Let's say the requirement is whenever I will select a record, I want to click on this flow button and on this flow button i want to have i want to have a power automate like run flow on demand or something some name and once you click that it will ask you to provide some input parameters and the power automate will run on demand and that input parameters that you given here on the screen will be custom parameters that user can give at any time while running this on demand flow okay and in this on demand flow also we can use that selected record information if there is logic required right so let us take a use case my requirement is this is a property information available here when i select a property and click flow button and choose that power automate flow that i have created on demand then it will take two parameters the first parameter is called as description another parameter is called as a date time field okay complete date the requirement is whenever you click this property the power automate will run it will accept two parameters from user and it will create a activity record and use that custom parameters and some parameters from this uh, selected record in that activity creation process okay let us see i have another i have a activity entity called as maintenance so this is my entity SSC property another is called as maintenance so if i'll go to activities you see this maintenance so this maintenance activity record will automatically created whenever the on-demand flow will run on a selected record okay i'll go here in the property and if i'll go to the property i can run a flow here but you have to design the flow first right so go to power automate and create a new flow this time you have to use instant cloud flow give a name here let's say uh, create maintenance activity with custom parameter on demand on property for property okay always give uh, better name right if you give uh, flow one flow two or some generic name it is very bad practice okay always give the name such as by looking at the flow name you can understand that uh, yes what this power automate is doing uh, doing the task right so here if you scroll down you'll see there is a trigger called as when a row is selected this when a row is selected is the trigger which is introduced lately in power automate for dataverse connectors and by using which you can initiate a on-demand power automate on selected records in data first environments not specifically to default environment in any environment you can connect now click on this and click on create and once you click on create it will open the designer screen okay now here you have the trigger data first trigger already uh, used now here you can also add custom parameters in case your users 
wants to pass some custom information in addition to the selected record information which is by default can be used in power automate but user can also pass input parameters using this input option now select the record on which the power automate will run my entity is sec property so i'll search sec properties now this is the entity for which i want to run this flow rename this trigger always follow best practice when a property is selected okay table name is this now when you select this table name down the line when a, whatever step you will use action steps that action step can use any fields that are part of this selected record from property entity but in addition to this entity record information or field information you can initiate or declare some input parameters to be treated as custom parameters that user can provide to power automate while triggering this flow now let me pass a text parameter where i want to pass message dynamically and a date at time date and time field to pass task complete date okay so depending on the user intention the task should be completed and this value should be used while creating the task and message should be also used as a description or uh, title for the task any other field that is part of the ssc property record on which i will be triggering that uh, flow will can be used dynamically but in addition to this field information if you need extra information dynamically from user then you can declare this input parameters but this is optional okay if you don't want to declare it will be optional but if you think that something should be mandatory let's say message should be mandatory mark it as optional by default it is mandatory but if you want to mark it as required or optional just change this uh, flag mark field optional mark field required now add an action what action i want to perform i want to tell the system that whenever the flow will run by a user on demand on a selected record it should create a maintenance activity and use some informations from property record plus custom parameters now i want to use microsoft dataverse and use an action called as create record okay if you want to create a record in a selected environment use this uh, add a new row to select an environment using so there are two options add a new row means it will focus on the current environment add a new row to selected environment means if you are trying to create a uh, new record in a table that table is in another environment not necessarily in your current environment where your flow is running then you have to use selected environment but my entity is in the same environment so i don't want to use this um, second one i will just use add a new row add a new row by default points to the current environment now choose the entity ssc maintenance and you have to assign the field values i want to assign the field values first click on this advanced option scroll down in the subject i want to assign the parameter the parameter is called as message this message is the custom parameter user provide while running the flow on demand on a selected record this is not part of the record it is a custom parameter okay and i'll scroll down and add some more informations like description in the description i want to also assign the parameter message okay and due date also should be pointed to the task complete date this is also another parameter that is passed from the user uh, input and there is another field i want to use initiate initiated by contact who is initiated this uh, request because in the maintenance we have a lookup called as uh, initiated by which is a polymer field lookup but i i want to keep it blank right now okay next i want to use priority priority is a high priority i want to assign right now so priority is a choice field i can select from the record itself and there is a regarding field called as ssc 
property. I want to initiate or create this maintenance against the property record. So in the regarding property, I want to assign the lookup. How to assign a lookup field? You have to use the set name of the entity. What is the set name? The set name you can copy from here. In the table, if you go to tools, copy the set name. While setting a lookup field in Power Automate, you have to use the set name. Then in bracket, you need to pass the GUID or primary key of the current record that is selected. So just search property and this is the dynamic content, unique identifier for entity instance. Now this will assign the lookup field regarding object ID for the activity, right? Now it's done. So what I will do, I will just save it. So I have successfully created a power automate which can be run on demand on a selected record in Dataverse and it will create activities depending on the action I have configured, right? I have used custom parameters plus existing field values for that record, right? Now I have to test it. How to test it? If you go here and refresh it, you can see the flow, on demand flow in the flow command button. User can select one record or multiple record and click that flow to run. Let's say for these two property, maple groove state and river view villas for these two property, I want to run that on demand flow. So I can click on the flow and I can see that the flow that I have created is available here in this list. What is the name? The name was create maintenance activity with custom parameters on demand for property. Now I can see here the same thing. This is well connected with your model driven app because Dataverse is natively connected with model driven app. No extra configuration need to be done. Now it will load, it will take some couple of seconds and load it. If it is not loading, loading, you have to just refresh the screen, hard refresh by pressing Ctrl Shift R. Let us wait or let me just refresh once Ctrl Shift R and I can see this one. better use uh, short name here because it is a on demand flow so uh, name uh, bigger name will uh, difficult to display here you see create maintenance activity right so click this once you click this it will open the power automate screen as a pop up where it will ask to provide the input parameter values the first is description Another is date to be completed the task. Now user will give the information. Okay. Let us wait. It will populate the screen where I can provide the input parameter values. Now it is showing the screen. Here it is asking message and task completed. Give a message the property inspection is required so anytime i can create this against on selected records when it need to be completed it not need to be completed by tomorrow so i can select as a user and run the flow once you click the run click run the flow button it will initiate an instance of the flow and you can check that status in the run flow status flow run page Click on the run flow page so that it will run. Click on done here in the back page. Now I'm expecting for this two property record, it will create the maintenance activity by this flow. I can check here the run status so that I can check the activities created or not. Now it is running. If there is any error, it will display here. Now it is success, right? That means it runs successfully. You see two instances. Why? Because you have initiated the on-demand flow for two selected records that's why it created two instance this is for one record this is for another record now let me check the let me open the first property and go to activities and see if the activity is created or not
now i can go to related and so this is the business unit let me go to properties and open a property or directly i can move to properties area and open the property this is the property if i'll go to relate to activities i can see the activities that is created this is the created this is the record created now if you open it you will see the subject is dynamically pulled from the input parameters from the user and uh, uh, the regarding object id is assigned as the property lookup field and the pri high priority is selected and the due date is selected as 30 right and it, it will also create for another uh, property this is for first property which is maple groove let me go to another property and check that if uh, the same type of activity is created or not because we have initiated for both record you can go to go back and open the second property river view not the business unit open the property itself and it will go to related activities you can see the maintenance activity is created now you can proceed you can once the inspection is done inspection is done you can mark it as complete right the point here is you understand how to run a on-demand power automate pass custom parameters from power apps to uh, on-demand flow and process it now you can understand the use cases where you can use this right i hope you understand thanks thank you everyone see you next time